Hello and welcome to the d -Wad Report. I'm your host, Darren Waddles. Lance Bonds won the Democrat primary for Stone County Sheriff. Lance Bonds did not win the Democrat primary for Stone County Sheriff. <gasps> now before you all start stoning me and throwing rocks and all that at me, please hear me out. This is the honest to God truth and this is how it played. It was all whacked up. As you've seen in my last video, the election that made history part one, you can see it right here, and it's also a link. Russ Aiken, the Republican candidate, sued the Stone County Election Committee and Governor Mike Beebe. Why he did this is because there is nowhere in our state constitution that gives the governor the right to hold a special election for a tie. So, he caused just mayhem, so they go to Little Rock. Right in the middle of this, a new candidate steps in to run as an independent. His name is Reuben B. Ballantyne. Now remember that, because he plays another role in this story. So, here they are in Little Rock and court. Their judge was Judge Moody. Judge Moody took the time, listened, and he came to the unanimous decision of the election was not legal. Why he said this is because there is nowhere in our constitution, like I said, that gives the governor the right to pronounce a special election. So, Lance Bonds was gone. Reason why he isn't still in the race is because of this. There is a place in our Constitution that says that the Democrat Party will choose their member. But there's a problem. The two Democrats, Todd Hudspeth and Lance Bonds, are not members of the Democrat Party, but yet they are running as one. So it caused this. So now that there's only two candidates now, there is Russ Aiken and Reuben B. Ballantyne. Reuben er, B. Ballantyne, here, here's what happens to Lance Bonds, and he starts shivering. And he decides to drop out. So the new sheriff is Russ Aiken. Now, this is just whacked. Uh, 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 uh. Now, Governor Mike Beebe, he kind of is like, oh, snap. He realizes what he has done, you see, and well, he steps to the side and he shuts his mouth for a little bit and he loses some points. Jim Keat is now, which is, just so you know, he is the Republican candidate for governor. So he is leading in the polls just by a tad bit, not by much, even though Mike Beebe is still in the lead. But he lost some percentage. Now, Mike Beebe, he just recently came out with this and said this. And by that I mean, if you just ask somebody, you favor right now an R or a D, the greater number are responding that they favor the R. The way that is overcome, if you're a D, is if they know you. Okay, uh, the Democrats would win if we knew them better. Mmm, really? We knew Blanche Lincoln for two terms, so that's 12 years plus the two terms she was in as a congresswoman and we don't know her yet and uh, she's losing <gasps> what a surprise 
We know Democrats don't think we're stupid here. Also, a little update for you all. I may not be doing as many videos as I normally would. Like, I usually do one once a week, but now since school started again, I'm going to do not as much, but I'll try to do a one-week show. And this is a favorite comment, please, and look in the description box to follow me on Twitter. And also, please subscribe to the D-Water